What's good, ya? You already know what it is, baby. This is T. Paris, a.k.a. The Young Marvin Gaye. This rap shit, most original, most creative, most in tune with the times, and I'm sort of like your inspiration. And this is P's Perspective, the recap. But let's not waste no time. Let's get right into it. Before we even get started with this week's discussion, I just want to take a moment and um just give a shout out to Chinks Drugs. Let's have a moment of silence, please. Um, for those who don't know, you know Chinks Drugs is an up and coming uh hip hop artist from Far Rockaway Queens. He lost his life early this morning. Just want to take a moment out, you know, to send a shout out to his family, his friends, all those out in Far Rockaway. Just let y'all know, you know, we love this music, you know, we love this spirit, this energy, and, and I wish y'all well, you know, I wish y'all well. Um, this week, our topic of discussion was Sugar Hill, and um, we just basically sat down and just spoke about something that's going on up here in Sugar Hill right now. We kept it real short, real sweet, to the point, and I thought that was dope because we had something that we wanted to focus on for the community, and it's called Sugar Hill Stations. Myself, um... My brother, um, Kareem, Kareem Nelson, Workhorse, Tone Bone, and a couple other people. We sat down and, you know, we're just building upon some of the things going on with our community, some of the interaction from the different generations, and we just thought about something that we could do to try to bring some of the love, you know, back to the community. And we came up with this idea for Sugar Hill Stations, which is basically, um, we're going to take Saturday, Saturday mornings from 10 o'clock to 12 o'clock and focus on some of the the uh, fundamentals of both basketball and boxing. Um, our, our core um, reason for doing this was not, you know, to make these uh, young men or young women, you know, better athletes necessarily. I mean, that is important as well. But we wanted to focus on the basic fundamentals of basketball and boxing. You know, it's my opinion that a lot of the youth are running around, um, they don't have any guidance, you know, they lack morals, they um, lack principles, and sometimes they're just trying to find their way. And if they had, you know, more people that would be willing to be hands-on, it would be a lot easier. And so with, with this Sugar Hill Station, what we plan on doing is instilling some of the basic foundation to life. And um, I believe that with the rules and regulations, the sky's the limit, you know. So whatever way to do it, then to start right here, right at home in our own backyard. So we're going to be right there in the schoolyard every Saturday from 10 to 12. We're going to focus on the basic fundamentals of boxing and basketball. We want y'all to come out. And uh, bring your kids out, man. That's what it's all about. It's all about the kids. Um, last week, you know, right after our discussion, I got a phone call from one of my brothers. His name is Amir. And he told me he watched the video and he thought it was dope, you know. He went on to say, I thought you should have got, you know, a little bit more detailed about Sugar Hill. And, you know, I love that type of conversation because um, it's like the challenge you to go ahead and share your wealth of knowledge. And, uh... I explained to him the first episode, you know, I, I didn't really want to get into it because I felt like it would take away from what we were trying to accomplish, you know. It was our first weekend. I wanted to just put emphasis on why we were trying to put the stations together. And um, now it was a recap, so what better time than to get into that? You know, for those who don't know, um, Sugar Hill was a part of Harlem. Harlem is a very rich and prominent part of our New York City. And, and in my opinion, you know, it's the heartbeat, you know what I mean? And, um... You got two sides of Harlem. You got East, uh, East Harlem. You got West Harlem. Over in the lower part of East Harlem, you got what they call El Barrio. You know, a lot of Latin population. And over on the west side, up on the hill, we got Sugar Hill. Um, during the Roaring Twenties, that's when the city started popping. You know, civil rights um, taking place. A lot of jazz, a lot of art, um, a lot of poetry, things of that nature. Langston Hughes, Harry Belafonte, W.B. Du Bois, Duke Ellington. You know, these are just some of the names that were running around through Harlem. You know, legendary places like the Apollo. Um, and during this time, you know, there was a real, a, a real wealthy piece of land, you know. And this is where all the wealthy African Americans, you know, would live. It was, it was, you know, considered the sweet spot of Harlem. And so they titled it Sugar Hill, right? Now, like I said, that was during the 1920s. And we're talking about right now in uh, the new millennium. And I'm, you know, of the 80s. And so I just want to tell a little bit about what I remember, you know, growing up on Sugar Hill. Um, some of the movies and things that we idolized. Some of these people that we talk about in everyday conversation. You know, the movie Sugar Hill, um, Above the Rim, Juice. Uh, I remember some parts of uh, uh, Brown Sugar, I want to say. You know, all right there in Harlem, man. 
right there on Sugar Hill, so to speak, you know, and not even so to speak, like literally right there, you know, Tupac Shakur went to school right there on Sugar Hill, uh, remember Mike Tyson came up there on Sugar Hill, Magic Johnson came up there, we had the little uh, clothing store right there on 159, Magic Johnson came up there when the sneakers came out, choose your weapons, signed the sneakers for the kids and all that, you know, Sugar Hill Candy Store, um, you know, Rich Porter, AZ, Mob Style, all that. That's right there in Harlem, man, right there on Sugar Hill. And so when you look at some of your favorite rappers, you know, the Jay-Z's and all that, they style come from right there on the hill, man. You know, I know a lot of people looking at me laughing like, you wild and you bugging, but I'm keeping it 100, you know. I'm a young, um, a young man from Harlem, but I got an old soul. I pay attention to my elders, my old timers. And I've heard plenty of stories, you know, all of them we can't share right here, and you know why. But some of them that we have spoken about, you know, I think of um, things that make me proud. I mean, pr proud, prideful of where I come from, you know. I've spent a, a great deal of time up there on Sugar Hill. I've seen a lot of things happen. And it's just my opinion that this generation is not, not really in the know. You know, they don't know about the history of Sugar Hill. And so what we're trying to do is bring that love back, you know. Bring it all back. Um, when you watch the movie Paving Full and they talk about, you know, when they were standing right there in front of Willie's Burgers and you see all the stars and all the cars, like, that's real life. You know, that's the way it was up here in Harlem and Sugar Hill all the time. You know, it's not just in the movie. And I like to tell people, you know, this is Sugar Hill before the movie. So a lot of things that you see in these movies, a lot of things that you see some of these hip-hop artists do, a lot of times when you go out and you see these people doing these things, you know, in the real world, and you ask yourself, does art imitate life, or does life imitate art? You know, I want to go on the record and say right now, you know, art is imitating life, because these are true stories that happen right here, you know? I tell y'all one of the stories my old time used to tell me, I think it was during the late 70s, maybe early 80s, when the Nets was playing, and um, there was a guy on the Nets, his name was Michael Ray Richardson, you know? And he was, he was a real good basketball player. And he, he used to be up on Sugar Hill getting high. And one day during the, um, during the game at halftime, they was asking, where's Michael Ray Richardson? Where's Michael Ray Richardson? And, you know, true to life, he was up on Sugar Hill doing what he do, you know. Now, I'm not telling that story to glorify it, but I'm just saying that a lot of the stuff that we hear in these movies, and you know, we see in TV, we, we hear it in this hip-hop, you know, it's, be, it's being retold of a life story that's very real, you know. And that's for these old timers that's right here from Sugar Hill. And so I want to put some of the love, some of the pride, you know, some of the understanding back in Harlem, you know. I want us to be prideful of where we come from and not just up here on Sugar Hill. At the moment, we're talking about Sugar Hill, but everybody, you know, like, let's get New York back where it came from. And in the first episode, I spoke about, you know, this being a blueprint, us going out there and doing this basketball and boxing for these kids. And if you see this and you think that this is a dope idea and it's something you want to build upon, by all means, take it and run with it. You know, we, we encourage that because I think that in every borough, we should have something like this going on for these young men and these young women. And if we could do this every summer, you know, for the next four or five years, I'm pretty sure a lot of this gun violence will stop, a lot of this gang um, violence will stop. You know, people will be more aware of what's going on. You know, ultimately, we can't put an end to all the crime. You know, because that's just a part of life. And, you know, there's bigger crimes going on way outside of our of our community, you know, that's going on around the world that they don't even touch upon. But let, let us focus on what's going on in our backyard and, and let us be accountable for what's going on in our backyard and try and do something positive to change it. And I guarantee we can make some change around our community at least, you know. And if, and if everybody, you know, choose to join in and get it together, then maybe our whole city, you know what I'm saying, and in our state, and then we share that all, all around the world, you know, and we be responsible for ourselves. If you can read, read between the lines, you understand what I'm saying, you know, and we're going to leave it right there. Again, I want to give a rest in peace shout out to Chink Drugs. Um, you know, very unfortunate what happened. I don't know, you know, too many of the details, but as a hip-hop artist myself, you know, I just want to say, you know, we got to try to come together and try to support one another. And uh, during this time, I just want to say to all the other artists, man, yo, be careful out there, man. It's T. Paris. Peace, perspective, man. Toast to the town. Peace.